The United Nations Security Council denied Russia's request to set up an independent inquiry into the Nord Stream pipeline explosions that took place in September of 2022. Only China, Russia and Brazil voted in favor of the resolution while the other 12 members abstained. The pipelines connect Russia and Germany under the Baltic Sea. Moscow called the unexplained blasts an act of international terrorism. The blasts occurred in the exclusive economic zones of Sweden and Denmark. Now, These two countries along with Germany say that they are conducting their own probe at the moment. Just last month, Russia had proposed the draft resolution in the UN Security Council to set up an independent probe. Russia's UN ambassador said that the truth will not be uncovered without an objective and transparent international investigation. Meanwhile, President Vladimir Putin has said that he believes the United States was behind the blasts, while Washington has rejected this claim as false. Соответственно, без объективного и транспарентного международного расследования правды о произошедшем нам не выяснить. Не выяснить. Поэтому Россия в открытом и конструктивном ключе предлагает коллегам по совету принять резолюцию, которая поручает генеральному секретарю ООН внести предложение по формированию международной независимой комиссии для проведения всеобъемлющего, транспарентного и беспристрастного расследования обстоятельств произошедшего. The United States categorically refutes Russia's unfounded allegations leveled against us in relation to this act of sabotage. The United States was not involved in any way, period. As we have said previously, the international community cannot tolerate any deliberate actions to damage critical infrastructure. However, let us be clear on what Russia's draft resolution was and what it was not. It was an attempt to discredit the work of ongoing national investigations and prejudice any conclusions they reach that do not comport to Russia's predetermined and political narrative. It was not an attempt to seek the truth. Although Russia failed to get the required votes at the UNSC, Moscow said that they would establish which state or states were behind the blasts. The Kremlin said that it would do everything in its power to stop what it calls Western efforts to cover up what happened. A Russian diplomat also said that Moscow so. may seek compensation for the pipeline damage, but did not specify from whom. And for more on this, our correspondent Chris Gilbert has sent us a report from Tokyo. Take a look. Well, it's certainly a concern, especially for the U.S. and its allies. Last year in November, we, of course, saw that intercontinental ballistic missile that uh, debuted and uh, showed that it could bring the entire U.S. within striking distance. And now it seems like we're seeing this Hwasan-13, this new miniaturized nuclear warhead that's been unveiled by North Korea and reported, of course, by state media there uh, that has the potential to be loaded onto these intercontinental ballistic missiles. Of course, it's not just the missiles that need to be developed, it's the warheads as well. North Korea doesn't have bases in friendly uh, countries to uh, launch airplanes from. It has to develop the projectiles and it has to project, uh, develop the, the, the weapons that can go on them. And as you said, uh, Kim Jong-un, the DPRK leader, has ordered the mass production of these warheads, or so we hear from North Korea. Now, the ability and the resources to develop this uh, weapon uh, are vast, and uh, it's questionable whether the DPRK, North Korea, has them. Um, but, you know, it, it is a, a heightened rhetoric yet again from Kim Jong-un. But if we want to talk about, uh, you know, nuclear crisis, this does come a day after, you know, the order of deployment of nuclear warheads in Europe. And so certainly there are pertinent issues on the table that will have the Americans' attention. Uh, but this, no doubt, is one step further down the road of uh, developing North Korea's nuclear goals.